Caddis Maximus here. Just talking about this old crescent wrench. Old American made. This happens to be an 08723, three quarter inch by five eighths. Pretty steep. This is known as a 75 degree offset because of the steepness of this bend. Gets a pretty good reach. Offset wrenches are just straight wrenches, but of course, allow you to access and some harder reach places. I kind of like using them because the hook angle kind of gives you something a little bit better to grip on. Crescent did not just popularize or was known for popularizing the adjustable wrenches, but they, for over the years, made a lot of nice hand tools. And that was one of the sad things of them being bought out. And, and there's actually still plenty of uh, socket sets and stuff that bear the Crescent name, but they're just not quite the same as they used to be. And that's kind of why I'm documenting this wrench is just because it's a old school crescent kind of small markings there but they do at least put them on both sides which I appreciate do like the design of this just because the beam is just uh, not oval but it's nicely rounded just a nice thick beam pretty good attention to paid here because it's smaller on one end 5 eighths versus 3 quarters we can see that there's just a bit of a taper it's a bit thicker on the end that's has a larger size that you're going to put more stress on and I just thought that was kind of nice neat and on a lot of these old wrenches even though they're not fluted they did broach them pretty tight they had good tolerances and they really just didn't strip out fasteners quite as badly as a lot of people think they have and as much as I like flank drive and fluted sockets to drive on surfaces when you have a quality wrench that isn't even fluted, it ends up doing the job in nearly 100% of the time anyway. And obviously going with a 6 point is going to make a bigger difference than fluted or non-fluted 12 point. That being said, we can see on this fastener, this happens to be a pretty high grade fastener, this is a super tanium, and we can see that this bolt just barely wants, can rock around in there. It is actually a surprisingly tight fit. One disadvantage of really tight fitting wrenches, which I will mention, people have mentioned in comments before, is if you already have a bolt that is a little bit rounded off, or maybe there's some damage to one of the corners, a little bit of metal sticking out, it can actually make it to where it's actually pretty difficult to put the wrench on the fastener if it's, you know, deformed in any way when you have tight fitting wrenches. And part of the flank drive is having the little undercuts under each of the, uh, quote unquote teeth in a wrench this provides a little bit of clearance right around the corner of a fastener where it's most likely to be damaged so I will give credit for that other than that pretty nice thick buckle this is like an old kind of an older style I don't know when this was made probably in the 1970s but we can see the buckle this isn't particularly tall isn't particularly thick uh, older wrenches tend to be more well I kind of say service oriented but <laughs> Uh, wrench, as I just did a video about a right wrench comparing uh, 7 8 to this newer 7 8 uh, wrenches have gotten a lot thicker and heavier because people use them to break a lot of fasteners. Wasn't quite the same in the older days where you were expected to use socketry to break fasteners and you use wrenches just to loosen them up or getting them cinched down. Other than, besides, or saying that, I, I should clarify. This wrench definitely seems like it's more than decent enough, but it just once again has a traditional style where it's just a real kind of thin buckle, really evenly ground. It's actually a nice little old crescent wrench, and it's kind of a shame that the tools that they make these days, they're actually probably just as strong. You, you know, chrome vanadium is chrome vanadium. There are different grades of it, I should mention. You'd really have to test versus the current overseas made crescents to really see if this one was stronger but nonetheless just like to document it like this classic style where it's just more rounded real comfortable to use like the whole tapered beam it just seems like it's a you know better attention to detail and just like documenting these old tools from yesteryear such as when the american made crescent offset wrenches were actually something that was worth owning Anyway, thanks for watching.